Are the Kardashians pushing Courtney to her breaking point? We delve into the showdown that has Travis Barker going off on Kim Kardashian for alleged bullying during Courtney's high risk pregnancy. Travis Barker's anger at Kim Kardashian for causing distress to Courtney during her high risk pregnancy has reached a boiling point. According to insiders close to Travis, he was furious after learning that Kim had raised issues about Courtney's children during a recent phone call, even making her cry. Courtney, currently expecting her first child with Travis, faces the added challenge of a high-risk pregnancy due to her age. She also recently underwent urgent fetal surgery to safeguard the baby's life. While Travis had typically maintained a distance from the Kardashians' drama and privately supported Courtney, he can no longer stay silent. Kim's actions, such as calling her pregnant sister to suggest her children secretly despise her, were perceived as exceptionally malicious. So, how did Travis react to this unsettling exchange between Kim and Courtney? Could this be the moment that prompts Courtney and Travis to sever ties with the Kardashians for good? Courtney's response to the situation was revealing. I was in no state to talk to anybody. I couldn't even articulate my thoughts. The intense phone argument between Kim and Courtney, partially shown in a new episode of The Kardashians, has drawn significant attention. Kim's harsh words have sparked viewer backlash, with many accusing her of using Courtney's children against her. What makes this situation even more serious is that it unfolded after Courtney revealed her pregnancy to the family, and Kim was fully aware of the pregnancy's high-risk nature. As a result, Travis Barker is reportedly pushing Courtney to sever ties with Kim, at least until the baby is born. Kim's behavior has escalated into a concerning and erratic state, necessitating these extreme measures. For those who missed the recent developments in the ongoing Courtney and Kim drama, it began when Kim invited Courtney to Italy to promote her Dolce and Gabbana campaign. Given Kim's track record, including appropriating ideas from Courtney's wedding and affecting the wedding atmosphere negatively, Courtney declined the offer but expressed her support for Kim's project in a separate capacity. Kim then attempted to gaslight Courtney by denying any wrongdoing at the wedding and insinuating that Courtney was exaggerating the situation. However, those who watched Courtney and Travis's wedding special know that more than just Kim copying Courtney's DG style took place. The most significant issue was Kim's demeanor at the wedding, where she appeared disinterested and delivered a lackluster speech. Kim also struggled with the focus being on Courtney and frequently redirected the conversation towards her wedding with Kanye in Italy. One of the most startling moments at the wedding occurred when Kim interrupted Travis's son Landon during his heartfelt speech. Landon expressed his deep gratitude to Courtney, describing her as a mother figure who imparted valuable life lessons. Kim's inability to tolerate the attention on Courtney prompted her to tell Landon to calm down. Despite the ongoing Kim Courtney drama, Landon's touching speech emphasized Courtney's positive influence. Kim's evident frustration stemmed from Courtney receiving public recognition for her relationship and parenting while Kim faced negative press regarding her love life. Courtney attempted to clarify her feelings to Kim during their phone call. Like you said, like you're missing the point. But isn't the point about the clothes and you're talking about the looks I steered away? I did what the I... It's not about the clothes. Courtney, it's not that point. original. Everyone does 90s. Like, it's not a new concept is what I'm trying to say. And there's only so many looks to pick from. You're talking about the bullshit details because it's all your egotistical, selfish mind can think about. And now, check out how Kim again ignored everything Courtney said. Low of me if you'd like to no i want you to dig deep and figure out why you why you hate me so much and why you're so angry with me because all of this never happened i was so happy for you and you could tell that courtney is the one who actually went to therapy and learned to communicate because she used experiences like i felt to try to get her point across i felt at my wedding like you weren't happy for me because so you have you wanna, a serious vendetta however kim who previously said she doesn't believe in therapy, got defensive and reached for another tool from the narcissistic playbook involving other people, saying us instead of I and telling Courtney that all her friends talk badly about her in a secret group chat. This is a typical isolation tactic used by narcissists. 
If you're an OG keeping up with the Kardashians fan, then you know Kim did something similar to her brother Rob. If you, you hate us, you, you're a different person, we all talk about it. I don't it. need you guys anymore. All I don't need to be a part of it. All of your friends call us complaining, whether you think they're the ones going to you, they're all coming to us on the side saying the opposite to us. So we're all confused and we're on a group chat that's actually labeled not Courtney. So we know and have to funnel what your friends are saying to us. By the way, the part where Kim said everyone is trying to figure out why Courtney is a different person. Well, that's what happens when you heal and this triggers narcissists because they prefer the unhealed version of you. That's why when Courtney was miserable with Scott, Kim was enabling their toxic dynamic and pushing Courtney to stay with Scott. But now that Courtney found love with Travis and finally experienced a healthy relationship, Kim is trying to convince her something is wrong with her. Kim spent years telling Courtney she gave her a career and made her famous, and that's why she couldn't stand to see that Courtney and Travis were getting attention on their own. But there was another moment from Kim and Courtney's phone call that exposed during their conversation. Think. You are a narcissist. It is all about you. Anything you do, it's about you and about how it looks to the world about you. So you just want to clear up your facts. Take out my whole side of the episode. I don't give a what anyone thinks about me. Courtney didn't hold back bluntly labeling Kim a narcissist and emphasizing that Kim's actions are self-centered, always focused on her image in the world. She refused to let Kim's accusations affect her. Maybe you guys need to go think about why if you're not happy. But that's what you have time for, to sit and have side chats specifically to talk about me? We're allowed to and express to... concern. We have side chats about everybody. That's just then what you do. Up life i don't have side chats about anyone well your kids have even come to me with problems that they have and how this exchange ultimately left courtney emotionally shattered given her vulnerable state during pregnancy kim's attempt to weaponize courtney's children added to the distress and tension causing courtney to break down in the face of these accusations kim's cold reaction to making courtney cry is evident as she nonchalantly scrolled on her phone as though achieving a personal victory is that helpful? You're like adding it into a fight to like have a side like it's you and my friends and my kids and everyone against me. It's like you're just a witch and I hate you. Due to concerns that Kim's bullying could jeopardize Courtney's and their unborn baby's well-being. Fans are rallying behind Courtney, urging her to follow in Rob's footsteps and cut ties with Kim to enjoy a peaceful pregnancy. Kim's actions during this vulnerable time have left fans astonished and disapproving. One fan pointed out that Kim's hostility could at least be put on hold until after Courtney's pregnancy, given the impending arrival of her niece or nephew. Others echoed the sentiment, suggesting that Courtney should distance herself from the family drama and focus on her new family. Do you believe it's time for Courtney and Travis to sever connections with the Kardashians? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more updates in the next video.